calming little YouTube video at the end of what may have been a very busy week for you. In general, I think many people find that art is a very relaxing, almost therapeutic activity. And in my opinion, lino cut printing is one of, if not the most relaxing art activity there is. Prior to shooting this video, I had been aching to get some art making in. And since I hadn't done lino cut printing in a while, I pulled out the materials and settled at my desk for the evening. It was actually raining that night, and I also used my speaker to play some calming music, so in this video, I tried to recreate that experience for you. I encourage you to watch this video while you make some art of your own, or of course it's totally fine if you just want to watch and do nothing and relax after a long day. Just to explain a little bit about what's going on in this lino cut process, first I sketch the design on a piece of paper and then I just go over that with pins so the lines are easier to see. Then I flip that paper around and I rub pencil on the back of it. And that is so that I can transfer the design over to my piece of linoleum, which this is actually not linoleum, it's just rubber, um, which is easier to cut into compared to an actual block of linoleum. to say this is probably one of my favorite parts. Doing the printing itself is really nice because it's very satisfying to see it all come together and to see the design all finished on a piece of paper, um, but being able to cut into the rubber is extremely satisfying and I think that's one of the reasons why I find this activity so relaxing. you guys have heard of this channel but I was highly inspired by Nemo's dreamscapes for this video. It's an incredibly relaxing channel that plays music, soft music, like oldies music usually, and they have a little rain track going on and it's very relaxing. I like to listen to their videos sometimes in the evening when I'm winding down and so I was trying to go for the same feel when I did this video. I did a little poll on both Instagram and YouTube to see if people would prefer me to just leave it at the music and the rain or if they would or if they would want me to include a voiceover over top. And I got mixed responses. On Instagram it was kind of 50-50, but on YouTube it was overwhelmingly in favor of including a voiceover as well. So you'll have to let me know in the comments if you appreciated the voiceover or if you wish I had left it at just music and rain.
I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with my recent videos, but I know I mentioned in one of them um, that I was going to start doing studio days. And a studio day would be one day out of each week that I dedicated to art making for the whole time, nothing else, just making art. And I tried that out for a little bit, but it's really hard to keep up with. Sometimes I have like a deadline at the end of the week and I need the day to uh, work towards that deadline. Um, my, my studio day, I, I decided it was gonna be Wednesday and for the past few Wednesdays, I don't think I've really had a studio day. Um, so I'm still trying to figure out when I'm going to be incorporating my art making into my life. And honestly, creating art at night is really nice because if you're, especially if you're listening to calming music while you do it, it's a really good way to unwind from the day. And I usually find that I have more creative energy at night anyway. And um, so that's another option, maybe just trying to get in some art at the end of each day or at the end of most days out of the week. I got all the materials to do this at Michael's which is an arts and crafts store here in the United States, and I'm not sure where else they are, but they have a little section dedicated to block printing materials, and so everything I got from there. Um, but just for those who are curious, the ink that I'm using is from Speedball, as is the little rolling thing, which I totally forgot what it's called, but the ink is a water-based ink. That is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me know what kind of art activity you did while watching this video. And if you didn't do any art, then just say hi and I will say hi back. And I will be back next week with another video.